Mic check, mic check. I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. All right, Jeremy Lin went and signed the tender sheet with Houston, uh, the team that cut him for uh, close to 30 million. I just seen a report this morning that the Knicks will match it. You know, it comes out to 28 and change and et cetera, et cetera. All right, in the perfect world, I was looking for Steve Nash to come here with us signing everybody coming back. Landry Fields is gone. Every, yo, the pieces is all, it's a big mismatch. So what does that leave the Knicks with? That leaves the Knicks with an aging uh, point guard who I believe is a Hall of Famer. Yes, look at his body of work to help Jeremy Lin. I am of the camp that Jeremy Lin is a phenom. I'm not sure if he's the if he's the be-all and all answer to our point guard problem. Steve Nash would have been that, but he went to L he went to LA. I thought the lore of him having a place in New York, him doing some charitable events in New York, that would have been the hook, the caveat to have him come here, but that is not the case. So, Mr. Batch continues. And I'm gonna leave you with this little nugget. You know why Jason Kidd came to New York versus going back to Dallas or going to Brooklyn? He's in the number one media market here. Come here to New York, finish out your contract with the Knicks, slide right into the media spotlight, and you got it going on. Now, his ex-wife, who's on NBA Wives, you ever notice that NBA wife stuff, none of them chicks on there is married to somebody in the NBA. Anytime you see them on there, they're, they're either divorced or dating a dude. They're not actually married to one of them. Not unless they change it this season. But ain't that the same? Juwama, Juwama, I, I hope I'm not messing up the young lady's name, but the former Mrs. Kid, man, isn't she, uh, you know, I, I don't know how they would say, she's probably jealous or whatever, that she's not back here in New York because her husband's playing at the garden on a regular basis and she could be seen sitting up front. Jason Kidd made the move to the Knicks to further his career after he finishes playing basketball and what better place to do it than here in New York. I'm out of here like I stole something. Peace.